Hey guys, I'm Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If this is not your first time and you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If don't forget to hit the little bell for future notifications of videos or any surprise videos I do during the week. And also do not forget to give this video a thumbs up by the end of it or now if you like the video. All right. Palettes. Let's go ahead and do the, the Saharan. It looks. That's really nice that they put bubble wrap around their eyeshadows to protect it, make sure that they don't break while they're on delivery. Okay. So that's, for all these palettes, I really like the, uh, the art that they use, it's very nice. I like the color that they use on the front. The packaging's nice, okay, awesome. So yes, as you know, if you watch my videos, I'm not huge on packaging. As long as the product's amazing, I'm happy. Here we go. These are pressed pigments. The names are in the back. Three other palettes to open. I, what I'll do is, I will go ahead and choose one to do a full look with. I'm gonna go ahead and open the other ones really quick. Apparently they all have the bubble wrap for protection, out of protection, so they don't break. This is super pretty packaging. Really do love their the art that they use. It's so pretty. The dose is gorgeous. Next one, same packaging, bubble wrap. it up this is really cool so this one's the festival and the eyeshadow pants are really big for these which is nice i mean that's a lot of eyeshadow i mean i have eyeshadow for days i don't think i'm buying eyeshadow for a while that's why i say all the time and then i buy more but no seriously i think i'm actually gonna uh take a pause with buying eyeshadow for a bit Unless there's another huge sale, then I will buy some more. And then last but not least, the Nubian. This one has the same bubble wrap. I love to pop these. I know. Okay, whatever. First time I saw this palette was at Ulta and what caught my attention, not this one in particular, but the one that they have there is the art that they, they um, went with. It's so pretty. Whatever, you know, drew these did such a beautiful job it's so eye-catching so so pretty okay and these are absolutely beautiful there are a lot more earth tones which that's nice because i'm definitely it's my favorite type of eyeshadows are more neutral or more toned down so i do love earth tone shadows and there's a lot more uh, shimmers on these too look at that it's that super pigmented one swipe and that thing is pigmented it's beautiful okay so unless you want an hour video <laughs> i will what i'll do is i will choose all right so i went ahead and got sticky notes or sticky notes all right so i went ahead and put numbers in here all right so i'm going to go ahead and draw a number and i also labeled these one through four like that i just pick a random palette okay and we'll do a look with that one. All right, one, that was easy. And that for you with this one as I'm doing my makeup that you guys can see. Okay, so I already went ahead and primed my lids and did all that fun jazz. So we got some good choices here. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I will figure it out as we go. The names are here. If you have this palette, I'll create a look and then you guys can follow along and let me know how it turned out. Let's wing it. This is the look that I went ahead and did. And I will go ahead and do it on this eye uh, with the Dose palette. So, and I went ahead and did this half of my face. Basically, I finished it off, did the bronze. I also went ahead and uh, blush, um, eyeliner. What else did I do? Oh yeah, and then I just went ahead and also used a setting powder. 
So I finished this side off, also put the lipstick on. It's always so weird to have lipstick on one side of the face and not the other, because you look so strange. Whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this eye. I look turned out. Do not mind my crazy eyebrows. I'm letting them grow out. If you're wondering why I'm letting them grow out, because they're already hairy, what can I say? I like my bushy eyebrows. Let's go ahead and head to this side. So I went ahead and zoomed in so you can be a little bit closer and you can see it. So what I want to do, I'm going to use my smudge brush and I'm going to pick up the custard pigment and apply it above my brow bone area. Now I'm doing it in patting motions. I'm not right now blowing. So just pat down. If you want to build the intensity, apply more eyeshadow. Now my initial thoughts with these eyeshadows, they're very pigmented. The shimmers are a lot more pigmented though, I will say that. For this palette in particular, of course not. The other palettes could have, could be a bit more pigmented as far as the eyeshadows go, but for the Dose one, it can be if you're not using a primer some shades will be extremely light and this is one of those shades if you are wanting a bit more intensity uh, apply a white base or um, your primer creating eye looks it's all about your method of blending if you blend out the eyeshadows you should be fine and again of course there are some brushes that are better than others but it doesn't mean that based on the price, you're gonna get better results. It's more so based on your method of um, eyeshadow application. Anyways, do you guys have these palettes? And if you do, what palette do you have? What's your favorite palette? From the Juvia's collection. I'm done with the shape. So my phone had full memory and it decided to uh, stop recording as I was recording, so. <laughs> story of my life okay so I just went ahead and uh, applied the this is where I left off I had applied uh, chocolate to the outer corner right here and let me zoom in so you guys can see it okay did that I just left this alone and I didn't finish it all right so I did a half cut crease we can say and that's what you see here and a purpose for this half cut crease is to really intensify the um, shimmer shade that I want to use, which is macaroons. And if you want it even more, you know, if you want even a, a more intense look, you can do a white cream base if you wanted to, or a white eyeshadow base if you wanted to. All right, let's go ahead and apply this. If you guys notice my eyes really red right here, it's the eyeliner I use. For some reason that eyeliner, it's an Avon eyeliner. It irritates my eye and I forgot that it does that. I haven't used it in a long time. I normally use it for other things like if I use it for as, as an eyeliner instead of a waterline eyeliner, uh, it doesn't irritate my obviously top area, but it does irritate my eye when I use it red. So just ignore that. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend you to buy it if, if you have sensitive, uh, your eyes get irritated fast with certain uh, eyeliners. But anyway, so yes, I'm really excited. I'm that type of person that I like to wait to announce something uh, before I put my foot in my mouth, technically. So I don't announce something until I know for sure it's set in stone. So until I know, okay, this is set in stone, I am in there, I am sitting in the seat. I normally don't announce it. But if you want me to do a vlog about it, or if you even want me to do a video to tell you about how that process looked like, if you're interested in nursing or you're thinking about enrolling into a nursing program, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, but yeah, just let me know. I, I just haven't really done one just because, you know. Anyway, so we're almost done. Yes, this looks crazy. If you actually are in college too, comment below. Let me know what you're majoring in. Let me know what you're in college for. If you're not, hey, that's okay. So what, what do you do? What do you like to do? Uh, comment below. Just because you're not in college don't mean you can't comment. Everyone has a different path. There's nothing wrong with that.
as long as you're happy in the path you're in. The reason I went back to college is because I wasn't too happy with the career path. Not that I hated it, but I just wanted change and I wanted something that I was able to you know, help people and, and make a difference um, in what I was doing. And to me, that was nursing, but that does not mean that everyone has the same career path. So definitely remember that you have to do what's best for you and what you're happy doing. And if that's going to school, great. If that's starting your own business, great too. Everyone's path is different. So I'm so, you know, uh, a firm believer, like don't compare yourself to other people. It just doesn't do you any good. Just be you. That's mainly why really the channel, it's called Unapologetically You. It's not Unapologetically Sandra, but just in general, whoever subscribes and is part of the channel, it's cream. The one that I did in this corner right here blend cream and just kind of like blend it out like that like that doesn't have that harsh line and grab your uh, blender brush it doesn't matter which one you use make sure it's clean and just blend that out there you go harsh line gone and I prefer to have that sort of transition just because I don't want the really harsh line whether it's in my crease or uh, when I do a cut crease or even like the outer corners if I notice there's any like harsh transitions I smooth it out by just blending it more just to make sure it all looks connected. That's something that I just like to do. I think it just makes the eyeshadow look nicer overall. I will say with this foundation, it's really good, but make sure you use a primer because it will um, look cakey otherwise. So I am going to finish the rest of the process up. Comment below, let me know what palette you want me to use next video. If you want me to use this palette, I'll say it's palette one. If you want me to use this palette, this palette. I'll create a look with these. This is one of the bigger palettes, which is this one, palette three really wanted to do obviously more than one palette but that would have been a way too long video and if you're anything like me you would have gotten impatient halfway through i hope you like this look if you make sure to hit the little bell for future videos and obviously any surprise videos i do during the week i normally post on thursdays but if i post any sooner you would be notified 